Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane. I am a luxury travel advisor based in Vancouver, Canada. And today is day two here of our river cruise. We are sailing into a town early this afternoon called Veer, I believe. I'll put the spelling right here. <laughs> it is where some of us are getting off to do our first excursions here on the Avalon Waterways Artistry 2. So we are doing an active and discovery Holland and Belgium cruise. So all the options on this particular uh, cruise, uh, it is one of their newer uh, itineraries. So again, I am being hosted on board by Avalon Waterways and I'm so grateful to be here. Today I'm actually going to the Delta Works, which you guys will hear a little bit more of what that is. Um, it had to do with one of the really bad floodings back in the 1950s um, when the Netherlands actually had quite a bad storm. And then they put a flood prevention system into place. So really excited to learn more about that today. And yeah, uh, this bed was amazing. <laughs> I had such a good night's sleep. Just a very, very different experience so far than Ocean and I'm loving it so much. <laughs> so I really can't wait to show you guys more. So let's get the day started. I woke up quite early this morning at around 5 o'clock a.m. as we had pulled into a lock just before sunrise. Let's take a tour around Avalon Waterways, Avalon Artistry 2's public spaces before anyone else has woken up. lobby and reception area at each set of entry doors there is an interactive screen. You can use this screen to check the daily schedule as Avalon Waterways now uses the Avalon Go app instead of printing a daily schedule and leaving it in your stateroom the night before. This is also the place where you check in and out that you have left or returned to the ship after exploring. Let's now move forward to the lounge on board the Avalon Artistry 2. This area is used quite a bit during a sailing. Here a light lunch is served, afternoon tea, our port talks and briefings for the next day. Also a light dinner is served tapas style. Evening entertainment is also taking place here and even just a great place to relax during the day. Out front there is more seating outdoors that is sheltered from the wind by these glass panels, making it comfortable to enjoy the views even if it's windy as we sail along. There is an elevator on the ship 
It does visit all the interior levels, however, it does not reach the sky deck. At the aft or back of the ship, you'll find the club lounge. This comfortable seating area is open 24 hours per day and has a refreshment area with a coffee machine, teas, ice machine, and rotating snacks and refreshments. They also have a Be Well water dispenser, which you can choose from a variety of flavors and select either still or sparkling water. The Be Well water dispenser is also complimentary and I loved filling up my water bottle before I went out for a shore excursion with various flavored waters. On the other side of the club lounge, there is a TV area with games and a small library. There is also an outdoor seating area here, which I did enjoy on a couple of occasions. However, keep in mind that this is also the only guest smoking area. On deck one, or the indigo deck, you'll find a small fitness room on board. Avalon Waterways also has an awesome adventure host who organizes activities such as morning yoga sessions and can also organize private biking tours and other activities to keep you active on your river cruise. On deck two on the sapphire deck is the restaurant. This is where breakfast, lunch, and dinner are all served. Breakfast and lunch is a mix of buffet and some items that are made to order, whereas dinner is ordering off a daily menu with some traditional favorites available every night. For breakfast this morning, I had a few items from the buffet and ordered a single eggs benedict. After a leisurely breakfast, enjoying company with other travel agents invited on this trip, I headed back to my stateroom to get a bit of work done and enjoy the panorama French balcony in my panorama suite. It was then time to explore a bit more of the ship. Let's check out the sky deck or the top level of Avalon Artistry 2. Here, they have a barbecue lunch on one of the days of your cruise, weather permitting. There are also various sitting areas dotted all over the sky deck. This roped off glass is the skylight looking down into the reception area and a sitting area around the whirlpool on Artistry 2. I did enjoy this hot tub a few times during my cruise. Avalon Waterways also has bikes available 
for use on board, including a couple of e-bikes. Once we arrived in Docton Veer, I actually got permission from the captain to film a couple drone shots of the ship. Shortly after, it was time to head out for my shore excursion to the Delta Works. Once we arrived to the visitor center at the Delta Works, we were given an introduction to the history of this area and why the Delta Works were constructed. On January 31st, 1953, a massive storm surge hit the Netherlands, killing over 1,800 people and over 30,000 animals were unfortunately drowned. The combination of a windstorm over the North Sea, high tide and a low pressure system caused the sea to flood land up to 5.6 meters or 18.4 feet above sea level. After this devastating storm, the Delta Works were commissioned. Work started immediately in 1954 and the project was completed in 1997. The surge flood barrier we're seeing today started construction in 1960 and was completed in 1986. It's such an impressive megastructure and was in awe of how this place operates. And then we make this one and this one because from this side we have a lot of water from the rivers, the Rhine, the Maas and the Waal. And that is sweet water, and that is for us very precious, because we have here only salt water. That's not good for the farmers. Sweet water, yes. That's the reason we make here two big lakes, Volker Axomeer and Marcus Aartsmeer, as buffer for the sweet water, so the farmers can pump it out when necessary when it's too dry. They only let the gate down when we expect the level outside in the North Sea from plus three meters. Then someone on the back building push all the rub up. And then the three barriers, 62 gates, they all go down in one hour and 10 minutes. And water from the North Sea can't reach us at And we are safe. And to be sure that we are safe for the next 200 years, we place this beam five feet higher than that level in 53. finished off our visit to the Delta Works by visiting the Delta Experience. It's an emotional multimedia experience taking you back to the night of January 31st, 1953. It was really well done and finished off with some of the construction highlights of the Delta Works. 
If you're ever in this area of Zealand, I highly suggest coming and learning about this mega project. It was then time to drive to Middleburg and meet up with our ship. Once we were dropped off, a few of us decided to walk into the center of Middleburg to see what the town was like, and it was really cute. So many places to take some amazing photos, and we even caught the tail end of a market as they were closing up. We wandered our way through the streets back to our ship. Once back on board the Avalon Artistry 2, it was time to relax and freshen up before our port meeting in the Panorama Lounge and then have dinner. I was starving as I skipped out on lunch today. For dinner tonight, I had the caramelized goat cheese salad, followed by the Angus beef filet carpaccio as a starter. For my main course, I had the herb marinated via loin with a truffle jus and the chocolate lava cake for dessert. Hi friends! So I am now all ready for bed, as you can tell. And I had such a great day today. I highly suggest, as I mentioned before, the Delta Works. I found that very fascinating to visit. Yeah, and then also Middleburg surprised me. <laughs> and it's um, really, really pretty. So lots of Instagrammable spots, as you saw. So definitely check out Middleburg if you are ever in the Zealand area. 
So now I am calling it a night. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's episode. Next episode, we are actually heading to Ghent. So we've already left Middleburg. We're in a queue right now for quite a busy lock system to get us to Ghent. So I can't wait to show you what tomorrow brings. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And thank you again so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye!